Hello there, I'm Nick. Good to see you. Today I want to make this video a little bit more relaxing, as writing Chinese calligraphy should be. And I'm writing the name of the Roman goddess of the moon. For some reason, the Chinese translation of Diana, Diana, reminds me of a field full of lavender, to a point where I can almost smell the scent right now. As metaphysical as it sounds, the Chinese make this translation especially feminine, with each letter conveying a sense of old world beauty. With the first character, Dai, it's a type of makeup powder women used to draw thin, delicate eyebrows in ancient China. And the color had a deep, dark violet tone. And the second character, An, has various meanings, all of which, however, centers around a sense of assurance and peacefulness. And last, Na, commonly used in female names, praising one's enchantment. So you see why the name conjures the scent and visual of lavender. I don't know about you, but I do feel calm. And next, I'll write the letters of Diana individually, and I'll show you how in both cursive and print style. If you can, I'd like you to simply focus on the movement of the tip of the brush. Notice the rhythm from left to right, up to down. So that's Diana. I hope she soothed you as much as she did to me through the paper and ink. And may I linger to next time.